All right, guys, what's up? So today we're gonna do uh, some uh, mobility and injury prevention uh, workouts where you're gonna learn how to protect your, your joints, how to protect your shoulder, uh, your knees. So it's really important like to do these exercises in order to have longevity uh, and be active on the mat, okay? So sometimes you're training because you don't have like strong muscles uh, around your joints so you can get injured. So this is like a, some proprioception, proprioception uh, workouts where you will um, do it and you're gonna feel great after doing that. It's very, very, very light. And like I say, I like to train like this. I like to train really hard uh, one day and then the other day I go more like easy, kind of like this, uh, injury prevention workouts. It helps my balance, helps to protect my joints and give me some conditioning as well, okay? So you guys, you need some rubber band like this. Okay, I like, I like to use two because the tension, you know, I wanna have like some strong tension. Uh, you guys will need a bozu ball, right? So we have the bozu ball, we're gonna be working with the bozu ball. And um, maybe like 10 to 20 pounds weight. Okay, you don't need too much uh, weight. And also you gotta use the rubber bands here like this, okay? Um, I'll explain each exercise. Uh, sometimes I do exercise with the ankle weights as well. But today we're gonna just focus on our shoulders our knees and our ankles and you see that there's a lot of uh, balance exercise that definitely helps you uh, during the fight okay let's work so first i like to put it like in the same uh, level put the, the the band right here in the same level of my waist okay and then i'll control i grab like this okay i like to hold like this and what you're gonna do you're gonna bring the band all the way here and then you bring back here. So you don't need to open the band like this, okay? So you just go right here at 90 degrees from your body, all right? So this will help your rotator, uh, rotator cuff, okay? So you go right here. So you're gonna do 20 times. So I did 20 times. So I stay facing this way and now I change the hand, so now I step a little bit more inside. I keep my arm 90 degrees right here. I don't like to be with my arm like this. Okay, I keep 90 degrees. And then I'll pull out. Okay, now we're doing out. So the first way did in. So now in this one, we're gonna go out. Okay, this will also help your, your shoulders. So I'll go right here, one. So 20 times as well. All right, then we go again. So we do two sets each side, two to three sets, okay? So now I did two times, okay? So now I change the side. So I'll face the other way. So I grab the band, and now I do the same thing. So first inside, okay? Four. Okay, now side. so now more time all right so now we're done so you're gonna feel like it burns like your shoulder uh, your shoulders it's really really good okay so for injury prevention so now if you don't have the rubber bands okay you can have like 10 to 20 pounds weight okay and then you can do on the floor right here like this and then you just like bring up like this okay so you do like sets of 20 on this side, then you change the hand, and then you go 20 on this side here, okay? And then you do two times, and then you change the side, and you do again. So you can do with the weights as well. <laughs> okay, so um, now, the next one, I like this a lot. So this one right here, same thing, I keep like the rubber band on the same, like pretty much like right on my belly button, uh, um, height, right? And now I'll go like this, I'll lock my back. So I'll be with my body almost like 90 degrees, okay? I'll grab both bands right here 
And what I gotta do, I extend my shoulder forward and I bring back like this. Okay, that's one, two, three, four, five. And every time you do, like try to squeeze the muscle off your back. Again, okay, try to put, to, uh, connect together your, your muscles for your back. That way you contract like really well. So we do it two times. After you finish this um, exercise, I change, okay? I grab the other way, I grab like this, okay? So now I'll do the exact same thing, but I'll move forward right now, okay? So right here, okay, I'll put some tension in the rubber, at nine degrees, and then I go here right now. Up. Burns the shoulder. It, it really, it's really, really good. Burns your shoulder. It really burns. It's really, really good. It's actually really good to warm up your shoulders. Like before you fight, you can warm up with that as well. Okay. Uh, now we're done with the second exercise. Okay. Uh, we're gonna do a different one. But before we move on. If you don't have the rubber, uh, the rubber band, you can use the weights like 20 pounds. I'll do it 10 pounds or 10 pounds weight. And you can do like this, like one side, like this, slow, same thing, you know, but instead of doing both sides like I did, you count like 25, because it's the same, like as you're pulling this way, you're gonna, you push this way and then you pull in this way. So it's gonna be uh, working both sides in one exercise. So you can do like that as well. So it's just like, like here. Try to control the weight. And every time you go, you squeeze the muscle. So it makes you strong. Okay. Um, now the next one, so we're gonna have, uh, this okay and sometimes can be you can buy like uh bands that they're like a circle like this they're attached but because this is not attached i i will do this i'll make a knot here okay like this all right here. okay so i make the knot and i'll put it between my arms okay see i gotta have this tension here okay and what I do, I go on the wall, right? I stretch, I put my hand on the wall, okay? And then I go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So this is two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. Once you do ten, now you start the other side. One, two, three, four, five. It's gonna burn your shoulders. Like six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So. I learned this exercise with my, uh, from my physical therapist, uh, Ivan Carmuzino from Physio Pro. He's really, really good. 
Um, and I follow up, I keep follow up with those exercises all the time, uh, especially when I, before I start training, right? Let's say I'm getting ready for a camp. I do all this routine, at least like two, three weeks before I start training. So that way I don't get hurt when I go back to, to my normal schedule, right? So we did one time, we gotta do one more set, so just rest a little bit. We do one more set and um, it's it's a pretty good exercise. You're gonna feel like a burning. It's, it burns a lot, your shoulder. <laughs> it's crazy, so let's go to the second set. So you can rest like one minute between the sets. Okay, again, stretch. Put in the line of your shoulders and go. One, two, it's a beautiful guy here. Three, <laughs> four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now, other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes. All right. Burns. We're done. You can do three sets if you want to do more. Like we can do three sets of twenty. I'm doing just like two sets of twenty. Okay. Uh, now the next one we got the the band again. Okay. And this one I learned from Coach Alex from Electro Performance. Uh, it really helps your shoulder. Like after you do bench press, you can do this. We do like between the sets of bench press. It, uh, you know, like sometimes when you do bench press, like you feel your shoulder, right? Your shoulders, like some people, they feel pain when they bench press or especially when they do like incline press, like you feel a lot of shoulder. So when you do this exercise, it will help you to, to bring back your shoulder in place and then you feel like, you feel good. So what you're gonna do here, and you strengthen the muscle, right? And the best way for you to prevent any injuries to have some muscle around your joints. And as I say, uh, I like to say that like your muscles are the armor of your joints, right? So it protects your joints and ligaments. So I'll grab here. So you can build the tension anyways, right? But try to make like as close as this, right? Like, like exactly like this, the line of your shoulders, okay? So once you grab, you extend like above your head first, and then you're gonna pull, and then you're gonna contract the muscles behind your back, and then you go back. That's one, two, three, four. You gotta squeeze the muscles in your back. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. When you're doing 10, now you put in the line of your shoulders. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, he burns the shoulder, he burns. All right, let's go second set right now. Ready? Up over your head. Nice and slow, not fast. Okay, and then we're done with this part. So two sets, 10, 10, okay? Move your head, and then we're here. So once you're done with that, now uh, let's go to the uh, leg exercises. Okay, we, we work with our back and shoulders, right? Rotator cuff. So now what I like to do, I use this rubber band, the rubber band that's here already, okay? Hope like this doesn't break, okay? So I go here, all right? So there's different ways for you to do this. You can use the flooring like this, okay? So what you're gonna do, let me do this side first. So what you're gonna do, you will half squat, not like, you know, like just flex, flex your knees and then you go, you go right here. Nine, 
that I like this a lot because it helps my balance. And I'm working now with the other leg too. This leg here is doing isometric power and stability and this leg here is working uh, on my groin here, right? So now I'll face this way, okay? And then I'll go backwards, one. Okay, now I turn this way, all right? Face the back, I go 20, as well, one, two, three. Okay, now I'm working with the outside four. Now I'll face this way. So we have all the sides, okay? So we go one, two, three, and four, okay? Four sides. Facing always. Okay, so work more on the quads. Okay. When you're done with one leg, now you change the leg. The other leg inside. This type of exercise, like people don't like to do it. They think it's nothing, but man, I. I really like it, I really like it. I feel way more uh, balanced, you know, when I work on this. And I can tell like, I, I don't hurt a lot, you know, okay? So you can do that like in the beginning, if you don't have too much balance, you can hold someone, you know, and do this, right? You can hold, um, just to have more balance. So we did uh, one time each leg, right? So now I can show you like how you can do uh, in a different surface so you can work, make a little bit more harder, right? Let's say if you've never done that and you feel off balance, you can post your hands somewhere and do it. But the goal is to try to do without holding anything so you can work on your balance as well, okay? Uh, I feel like when I do these exercises, like I can pivot faster, um, I have better balance when somebody grabs me on a single leg. Uh, also like injury prevention, you know when the mats are slippery and sometimes your, your foot like sleep on the mat and your, your knee do, does this or, or your ankles goes like this. This will help your brain to um, have a good memory in the balance. So when your knee like slippery, like your brain catches right away and don't let you get hurt because your muscles are, are really strong. The muscles around your knees are really strong. So your, your quads, you know, and then there's like little muscles here, okay? And if you don't do this exercise, you only do like leg press, squats, and things like that, you're never gonna develop those, those uh, muscles, okay? So uh, you can use like a, a softer mat, like there's like some mats that you can buy, uh, but I'll use the bozu right here. You can use, both sides of the bozu. Oh, you can use this side of the bozu, right? So you can do from here, which is like already, you see like it's, it's unstable. It helps a lot with your stability. Or you can use this side of the bozu, which is also like unstable, right? Like this. I use this side of the bozu, okay? So like over here, now I do the second set. Usually I do two sets, I'm just showing you um, how you can do it, all right? You do either using the bozu or, or some soft surface, or even like regular mat, right? Because we fight on the mat, or you can use uh, the floor, right? So we're gonna go here, and then look, it's very unstable, I go one, two, It's not easy. It looks really easy because I do this for years. 
but people who doesn't do much like they they shake and then more you shake the bozu more unstable you got here when you're on top that means like you have no muscles like your muscles are not strong enough okay so when you when you stay like stable like this you have good muscles around your knee and you protect it there you go now we change side this side Step right on the middle, the bozu. See, this side is weaker. Damn, I'm sweaty, you know? It's, <laughs> it's not easy. So, done, okay? So, you can do using the floor or using the bozu if you wanna do. Uh, a little bit harder if you want to go harder you can use the bozo it's way harder you can use this side of the bozo as well it's a little bit more stable right but it's still uh, not very simple very easy usually those exercises you, they are exercises that you can do uh, usually like you do after a, a surgery like post surgery like those exercises that what the physical therapist uh, do after you of course you build the scar tissue and everything right like you you recover from the surgery that's when you start strengthening your muscles again uh, afterwards so before you start going heavy again and i i did that when i did the uh, meniscus surgery but even before that um and definitely like when you do that often even if you get hurt you recover faster all right let's say you're training you tweak your knee uh, you recover faster because your muscles are stronger, right? It's really important to keep a good muscle around your knee, right? To have good muscle around your knee, like strengthen your muscles. All right, so now we're done with that. Okay, now we're gonna do another one, another way to be more, more stability. Okay, um, I'll be facing that way. Okay, you can catch me in the mirror as well if you want. Um, I'll have one leg on top of the bozu ball facing this way and I go right here balance okay so now what I'm gonna do I'll kick and I'll try I almost try to touch the floor so I do like a small squat okay that's one that's two that's three that's four that's five six seven eight nine ten uh, you think this is easy it's not easy man it's really uh, hard like uh, sometimes i show this to my friends and i see like the bozo ball they stay like this like oh maybe the beginner gonna be like that but once you start getting used to that like you're gonna have way better balance one all right, so two sets, great. Okay, now we go to the next one, okay? Um, this one, I'll be facing this way right now. I'll grab here, I'll pose my leg on the ball. So now I go forward and I'll try to pass my foot around the bozo ball all the way across. And I go back here, that's one. sets Oops. two times each leg we're done now one more okay uh, this is gonna be the last one today okay um, usually 
Um, I use cones, but I don't have the cones here right now. Um, I will use like 10 pound weight, super light, lightest weight. It's two. It's three. It's four. See? That's a good one. It's five. Feel my glute burning, you know, burning <laughs> bad, you know, bad. So it's it's not simple. It's it's pretty hard, but um, it's very important. Okay. So now other side, man. I have so much fun doing this. Um, I love it. I love it. That was like one set each. One more time. That's uh, just stretch a little bit right now. Stretch after I finish this type of workout, just like regular stretch, you know, for like 10, five to ten seconds each. You don't need to like go and hold for a minute. Thank you. 